Senoriores, your boy YG. We are back with some more of the JD Davis in my career. And bro, JD is having a career, bro. I don't know how else to explain it. Honestly, he's a candidate for rookie of the year as well as six man of the year. Don't forget, my boy is still coming off the bench. The Chicago Bulls team on paper, as far as overalls go, are pretty high, especially when it comes to the shooting guard and a point guard position. And they have a plethora of, of players at that position. So it's kind of hard for a JD to break into the starting lineup but i'm not gonna hold you two pieces of hardware at the end of the season is better than one <laughs> You feel me? So let me show you guys why my boy is the perfect candidate for rookie and six man of the year. And we got two game plays, of course. So let's stop talking about it. Let's go ahead and be about it. Probably a scatter. Yes, sir. See the boys out here. Not bad. We got to go up against Trey Young, too. Oh, wait. Ice Trader. Dang. Chat, the boys is ready. I'm ready. I hope y'all ready. So sing it to me one time. Jump on. Get it. Get it. Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, Lord. So my boy JD is finally subbed into the game. The score right now is 15 to 12. Already making his mark on the game by being the pass first point guard that he believes he is. I don't know, man. Look at him attacking the rim. That's the JD I like to see personally. Y'all know, bro. If you are a JD Davidson fan, y'all let me know down in the comments, man. How do you guys like to see JD playing out maybe you you guys like to see him as a defensive player maybe you guys like to see him hold on wait a minute pull up Bang. maybe y'all like to see him as a shooter oh i like to see him aggressive attacking the rim you know what i mean but being a pass first playing defense that it all got to mesh together for him to be the perfect nba player and hopefully a team drafts him coming up very soon man i i got my fingers crossed for oh oh lord <laughs> I got my fingers crossed for a lot of players. I have a lot of favorite players this draft. Honestly, I'm going to make a statement that I probably should keep private, but I think this draft class this year is probably one of the best draft class since LeBron James. Now, I don't know. Y'all y'all might have to disagree. You guys let me know, man. What has been the best draft class since LeBron James if it's not this one, bro? You got a lot of tall giants skill giants in this draft class and a lot of athletic guards as well i don't know man i don't see a lot of bus oh speaking of bus bus down papiana <laughs> i don't see a lot of bus wait a minute let me do it one more time god damn jd can i say what i need to say please <laughs> i don't see a lot of bus in this year's draft i could be wrong y'all let me know man how y'all feel about that down below in the comment section but y'all see man i've been yapping and yapping and yapping give me any one but Atlanta have been dogging <laughs> these boys out here in Chicago. But uh, one last take for the one time. We're going to take that one for the road. 28 points, four boards, seven assists is how my boy JD finishes the game. Even though Chicago loses at home yet again, we got to fix that, man. 108 to 91 is the final score. Hopefully, when these boys go on the road, they can give upsets like they get when they're at home. All right, JD. <laughs> my boy in L.A. It's time to turn up one time, and we're going to get right into it. 13 and 9 already winning. Look at Bucci back. Dana cashing me outside. And that's what you like to see as a six man and as a rookie coming in. Look at the tough take right there. I like that animation. I wish I could see more animations like that instead of the one where my boy just throw it behind his back and make it magically, right? 24 to 25 on the road. And like I said in the last game, hopefully these boys can deliver upsets like they get when they're at the United Center or whatever, the United Center, I think that is, right? The Chicago Center, look at the move right there from JD. 28 to 25, the start of this second. And the boys are playing great defense. Way to not call a foul right there, ref. <laughs> he, he just saw, throw me the lock. Whoa. Now they really moving. Okay, now I see what it is. <laughs> the boys get soft at home, but on the road, they get, oh. They just turn into savages. Oh, we 34 to 31 right now in the second. Should have been an and one, but that's okay. We ain't soft. You feel me? And right now, you just going to see the Chicago Bulls go bananas. Even though we are down five. Look, I got LeBron on me. It doesn't matter. Come set me that screen. I'm taking it all the way to the basket. Nice little layup right there. And right now, it's the best time for these boys to fight to get back into this game if they want a chance to win. And what a dangerous pass. I did not call for that pass. Caruso 
just seen the young God just go and he said, oh, I'm gonna just throw it up there. JD said, don't worry, partner, I got it. Calling for the screen. We got the five point lead late in this third. And look, this is what I'm saying, bro. This is why this man is gonna be the sixth man of the year. The fire, the energy that he provides off the bench is just unmatched, bro. You're not gonna get that from any other person in the league right now. And not to mention the cherry on top, the boy is a rookie which means he's also going to be a candidate for the rookie of the year. Nobody's putting up numbers like this. 20 points, five rebounds, eight assists, and the win on the road. You got to love it. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more NBA 2K content just like this. And I got you guys. But until the next one, man, peace. Yo, if you find yourself saying, oh my God, YG, this video is hilarious. Where can I get more of that? Because that's exactly what y'all probably sound like. Then, of course, you got to go and follow me on Twitch. Go ahead and hit that heart button if you're on the mobile. Go ahead and follow me if you are on a PC or a computer. And you can enjoy videos just like this. Just four or five hours long. <laughs> Let's get it. Scenario, it's your boy YG, and we are finally back with some more of the Jaden Ivy my career. And for the people who have been missing it, we had some mishaps. Check out that story over on the community tab. But shout out to my guy S Bug for the new Cyberface man. Make sure you guys check him out. His link will be in the description down below. Now we gotta get right back into it. It was a great idea suggested by one of the savages to just go ahead and redo the entire NBA draft, and we could do that because the draft class gets updated periodically i think you guys are going to appreciate the results now you guys see where Jaden ivy was projected to go and as far as the scouting report goes they say his ceiling is lance stevenson the floor is alec burtz they say his strength is if properly utilized he can help out nicely right away great on ball defender adapt at disrupting the offense with his quick hands basically they're saying he's really quick and unfortunately they're saying his weakness is he has less muscle mass than you like to see at his size even accounting for his age and i'm not even gonna hold you guys up we're gonna get right into the mock draft you see who has the lottery picks and who and who's gonna fill out the rest of this round i'm ready to get into it so let's stop wasting our time let's see what the nba draft is going to look like first up is the orlando magic i believe and they go ahead and pick up chet home green that's a great pick then you got jabari going number two then paulo follows right behind him to the sacramento kings and then we got well jalen Durant. okay that's a great pickup for the hornets they need that 